Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now there is a very close relationship between symmetry and reflection. So what comes to your mind when you think of reflection? We stand in front of a mirror. So I'm sure all of you stand in front of a mirror when you get ready. And what do you see? You could see yourself on the mirror. So how are you able to see yourself on the mirror? This is possible because of reflection of light. You would have observed that you can see yourself in the mirror only in presence of light. So if you switch off the light in the room, even if you stand in front of the mirror, you will not be able to see yourself. So this happens due to reflection. Okay. Now due to reflection of light, what happens? You can see yourself on the mirror and you see yourself exactly the same as you actually are. For example, uh, when you stand in front of the plain mirror which you, or your dressing mirror, your size or your shape doesn't change. Your height, your uh, everything, your, your appearance remains the same. But have you noticed any difference between you and your image which you see on the mirror? So have you ever observed any difference? If you have observed that that's perfectly fine. If you haven't observed, try this out next time when you stand in front of a mirror. Just raise your left hand and what do you see on the mirror? On the mirror it appears as if you have raised your right hand. Even though you have raised your left hand, for example, on this, on the screen, in the image, you see that this girl, she has raised her left hand. Like from our perspective, if we consider that this girl is me, so then the girl has raised her left hand. But when you look at the mirror, it seems as if she has raised her right hand. So what happens is whenever we stand in front of a mirror, right becomes left and left becomes right. Everything else remains identical, but it is just that everything get lateral and this is what we call as lateral inversion. That is right becomes left, left becomes right. Even though nothing changes, everything remains as it is. It is just that the image is laterally inverted when compared to the object. So that is one speciality of your mirror image. Now, how is symmetry and reflection related? So they are related because of this concept. So let's see. Now, when we talk about line symmetry, we basically say that line symmetry means there will exist a line which would divide that object into two equal halves such that the two halves will overlap each other. So there is another way of telling the same thing. So we can also say that a shape has line symmetry if one half of it is the mirror image of the other half. That's interesting, right? Let's take this example. So these are some examples from nature. So they naturally exist. Like if you look at the trees, if you, if you visit a river or a lake or a pond and you look at the trees, you see that how, how much is the actual tree? So the, these are the actual trees, right? But what is this? This is nothing but the mirror image of the tree. So this is the real tree and this is the mirror image. Right? But when you look at when you when you look at the overall picture, you see that the all that which was part of the bottom of the tree is on the top in the image. So when you look at the image, the image in the image. This portion is on the top and this portion is at the bottom. But in, in reality, this portion is on the top and this portion is at the bottom. And that is what we call as lateral inversion. Similarly, in case of this duck, you see the face is on the top and in the image, the face is on the bottom. So that is the inversion which we are talking about. So mirror images are always like these. So even though the mirror images are exactly identical, but what happens is if you now imagine that let's say that this duct is a painting on a sheet of paper. So if you imagine this line and if you think that okay let me fold the paper along this line. So what would happen? These two halves would exactly overlap each other and that, that's how we can say that this line is a line of symmetry. Right? So if we consider this overall thing as one object then we can say that this line acts as a line of symmetry. So this basically tells us that till now we have been telling that there exists a line which divides the image into two equal halves. So those two equal halves are just like the mirror images which are exactly identical but they are laterally inverted. That is why when you fold them they exactly overlap each other. So let's take the example of the butterfly. So I have already told you before that a butterfly has a symmetry. 
So it is like this. Let's you take a picture of a butterfly on a sheet of paper. You draw the line of symmetry, fold it. You see that the two halves exactly overlap each other, which proves that 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 vertical line is the line of symmetry. Now you do this thing. You you keep that sheet of paper with the picture of butterfly on the table. Place a mirror like this exactly along the line of symmetry. So this is your line of symmetry. So exactly along this line, you place the mirror. Observe the mirror image that you see. So you would see that the mirror image will will actually be the other half of the butterfly. So you are just looking at one half of the butterfly, and the mirror image of that one half of the butterfly is nothing but exactly identical to the other half of the butterfly. So this shows that. the line of symmetry actually divides the entire object into two equal halves such that the two halves are mirror images of each other so this is the best way to understand this now i would urge you to do this on your own so that you know you can feel it for yourself that okay this happens all you need to do is take a picture of a butterfly on a sheet of paper take a mirror place the mirror along the line of symmetry and you would be able to see the mirror image of one half of the butterfly is nothing but the other half of the butterfly which shows that the two halves of the butterfly are mirror images of each other so this type of symmetry is nothing but reflection symmetry because it is a symmetry where we see that one half is mirror image of the other half so whenever we talk about mirror image mirror images happen due to reflection so this type of symmetry is also referred to as reflection symmetry and that is why we say that line symmetry and reflection symmetry have a very close relation Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class six to twelve on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology, along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.